our top story tonight, you always hear crazy metal detector stories, but recently detectoring has become more about pleasure instead of treasure. Six News reporter Bailey Bates is live in the studio with more. Hey, Bailey. Hello, Jasmine. Two and a half weeks ago, I stumbled across some men hunting a random empty field in Copper's Cove with metal detectors. It sparked my attention and I have learned that it is an international hobby of interest and it's getting more popular right here in Central Texas. This is what we call hunting. Meet the Longhorn Diggers of Central Texas. The reasons why I started this club is to get people out of the house, get them doing something, and to enjoy the metal detecting part of it. A metal detecting club that has grown to more than 250 members as the hobby gains attraction. I went out one time and, and you know, first time I was hooked. I had the bug. Randy Seville has been a member for two and a half years. He hunts an average of three to four times a week and then always at the club's monthly meeting. Listening to the beeps for what's underneath, digging up artifacts, culture, and history all across Central Texas. I like to find uh, old abandoned homesteads, like out on public land where there used to be a home site. Those uh, have a tendency to reveal artifacts and antique type things. Members have found everything from a cannonball to coins from the Roman era. Yep, big old piece of iron. But it's not always about the find. Most of the time you just find trash. It's about the thrill of the search and friendship that comes along. Invite each other to go hunting. Sometimes we go hunting in groups of, you know, as many as three or four of us will get together and on a particular site together. The members also help with recovery efforts like lost rings. But we do do different things to help people get their equipment and their stuff back to them to make their lives a little more enjoyable. With their detectors, shovels and pinpointers in hand, they will always leave the ground better than they found it. The club meets monthly to discuss everyone's findings and do a seated hunt. They also do cash hunts for four times a year. A recent hunt took over two months because it was hidden so well. If you're interested in joining the club or starting the hobby, we will have more information on our website. That's KCNTV.com. Back to you, Jasmine. All right, thanks, Bailey. That sounds like fun, Bill. Maybe we should give it a try. <laughs>